DJI The Bike is here. The Amflow brand, incubated by DJI, should be familiar to many. DJI has been a leader in the film industry and the drone industry, and they have great expertise in electronic control systems. This time, they are entering the e-bike market. About a year ago, I heard that DJI was developing an e-bike, but I didn't know about the Amflow brand at the time. Now that I have this e-bike in hand, I must say, it's amazing. Next, I'll share my review of it with you all. After receiving it, I started assembling the bike. It's very simple. Just install the handlebars and mount them on the front fork. The brakes and front will also need to be attached. The best part is that it comes with a torque wrench with a maximum torque of 20 Nm. This means all screws can be easily tightened with the wrench. It also comes with various screw heads, which is incredibly convenient for beginners. From a professional standpoint, the design of this bike is impeccable. You can spot some lightning-like elements in its design. The rear fork adopts a multi-link structure, and the bike's components are top-notch, all from well-known professional bike brands. The front fork is the latest FOS 36, the braking system uses MT7 four-piston brakes, and the rear features SRAM's electronic shifting system. Speaking of the electronic shifter, here's an interesting detail. Traditionally, we use battery clip-type shifters, but this bike has a cable directly connected to the charger. This way, the battery continuously powers the shifter. However, if you turn off the power, the shifter stops working, which could be a slight inconvenience. The handlebars are equipped with multiple buttons, giving it a high-tech feel. First, there's a button for switching between acceleration modes, supporting ECO, trail, turbo, boost, and automatic modes. I especially want to highlight the trail mode, which is excellent for long-distance commuting and climbing. It also improves battery life significantly. For those who want to ride further on the road, Eco mode is the best choice. Boost mode is a short burst mode, allowing for up to 1 kilowatt of power output on a 36V platform, with a torque of up to 120 Nm. Absolutely impressive. The buttons also support downshifting, and long pressing will activate push mode. When climbing, holding the button will engage the motor to help push the bike, making it much easier. In push mode, the bike also locks itself, preventing backward movement, which is a neat little feature. On the right side, there's a menu switching button. The display shows riding distance, remaining range, time, battery percentage, speed, altitude, gradient, gear, and more. The center OLED screen is touch sensitive and has great texture. Even under bright sunlight, it remains clearly visible. Below that, on the right side, is the SRAM electric shifter controller, and the entire handlebar setup looks very clean. Riding it feels very natural. The frame geometry and riding feel are very similar to my stump jumper, and the components are all professional grade. The frame angles are comfortable, so I adapted quickly, even pulling off some tricks with ease. The handling is also very agile, and the bike is lightweight and adaptable. It doesn't feel like an e-bike at all unless you turn on the motor. My bike is the Black Pro version, but there's also a Silver Standard version. The Pro version comes with two battery options, 600WH and 800WH. The 600WH motor version weighs 19 kilograms, while the 800WH version weighs 20 kilograms. The standard version weighs 22 kilograms, and the silver frame itself is extremely light at only 2.27 kilograms. This bike features DJI's self-developed motor. The motor weighs 2.52 kilograms, has a maximum torque output of 105 Nm, and a continuous output power of 850W. Paired with either the 800WH or 600WH battery, the range can reach 157 kilometers and 117 kilometers, respectively. I rode all day today and still didn't run out of battery. With such a lightweight and strong range, you might wonder about the charging speed. The answer is 12A 508W fast charging from zero to 75% in just an hour and a half. This battery can maintain 80% capacity even after 500 charge cycles, making it extremely reliable. To summarize, 
This bike is not only great for city riding, but also perfect for mountain adventures. For professional riders like us, its lightness and handling are top notch. Whether it's the frame angles or comfort, it performs excellently. Its electronic control system, display, motor, and battery all work impressively well. Overall, this a bike delivers an exceptionally satisfying riding experience. Whether in the mountains or the city, it provides an enjoyable ride. If you were to buy an e-bike, would you choose this one? In what scenarios would you use it? And would you prefer a traditional big-name bike brand? Or would you go for a new brand like Amflow?